Uh, today we are going to discuss about the prismatic compass and its temporary adjustments. The instrument in the container, this is your prismatic compass. Okay. Here we have a prismatic compass. Before we want to use this prismatic compass, we need to take out the cover. And this is how the prismatic compass looks like. This is being a prism and this also acts as an eye wing. This is your object wing. Okay. Now we will go to the temporary adjustments. First adjustment is centering, then leveling and then focusing the prism. Now we will try to fix this instrument to the tripod. So we have a socket arrangement here. This needs to be fixed to the head of the tripod. The tripod head comes with ball and socket arrangement so that it can be moved in any of the direction like this. Okay, The head of the tripod is movable in this way and the same thing is being used for leveling the instrument. Now one thing to be noted here is once I fix this compass to the tripod make sure that your object wing is closed. Okay, Now if I want to use the compass I need to lift my object wing. Once the object wing is being lifted. Now you can observe the movement of the graduated circle and the graduated circle comes to rest along the magnetic north and south direction. So this is your magnetic north direction here. Okay. Next coming to the temporary adjustments, first thing is a centering. Now this is a process of keeping the instrument over the station. Station exactly lies, station lies on the ground. Okay. Now how to do centering is you need to take a small bevel or a small chop piece and hold, we need to hold the chop piece in this way here okay and I need to drop it and I need to observe where the stone or chop piece is falling on the ground first it's here so I need to just make sure that the chop piece is again falling on the same point so it's the same point now this is a centering point, now I need to mark it in this way. So this is a point on the ground where the instrument is standing. Okay, This is called as centering, keeping the, keeping the instrument over a station. Then comes leveling. Before I observe the reading, if you can observe here, the graduated circle is touching the glass cover of the compass. Okay, If this happens, then your graduated circle will not move properly. In that case, I need to do the temp leveling. And as I told you, leveling needs to be done with a ball and socket arrangement here. So I need to just move it. I need to just arrange it or uh, just a movement of this ball, ball and socket uh, arrangement in such a way that my graduated circle is free to rotate. Okay, you make sure it is not touching any part of a graduated circle. Now it is so. Okay, now the instrument is leveled. Now, if I want to observe the reading, the focusing the prism, the third temporary adjustment is focusing the prism. This is your prism, and I need to make sure that the prism, I need to fold the prism with the hinge arrangement so that prism comes in this location. Okay, now my instrument is ready for observations. This is the object wing. This is your prism. If this is my point A, if this is my point A, and somewhere you have, uh, let me take this corner as my point B. Okay. Now, if I want to observe the bearing of AB, what I need to do is now I need to rotate my compass. Okay, and I need to observe to the prism. And I should bisect the ranging rod or that corner where I have marked it as B. Okay. Once I bisect the ranging rod, it may so happen that the readings may not be visible through the prism. In that case, I need to make a smaller movement in vertical direction as far as this prism is considered. This is called as focusing the prism. Okay. We are focusing the prism so that the readings in the graduated circle are seen. Okay, so these are temporary adjustments of prismatic compass.